Good morning, students. Today is our day seven with our topic natural vegetation. In earlier videos, we have already learnt about the meaning of the word natural vegetation, different forest covers found in India, how the natural vegetation of the place is directly related with its climate, rainfall, and relief. We have also learnt about the importance of these forests, the different products we we are getting from these forests, how to conserve this. forest today we will be learning about problem of indian forestry about the national forest policy about the national forest policy of 1988 about social forestry program and agroforestry while going through these topics we will also be learning some new words overgrazing means excessive eating of grassland by animals reforestation a program started by the government of india under which two saplings are planted for every felled tree denudation is a dynamic process that includes disintegration means breaking and decomposition of rocks as well as the wearing away of the rocks catchment the action of collecting water especially the collection of rainfall over a natural drainage area reservoir a large natural or artificial lake used as a source of water supply agroforestry agroforestry means agriculture incorporating the cultivation of trees zooming cultivation the system of cultivation involves clearing a piece of land by setting fire and using that area for growing crops urbanization the process of making an area more urban or developed students please open up your books on page number 148 today our topic is problems of indian forestry the major problems that are faced by indian forestry are number 1 inadequate forest cover it has already mentioned that the forest cover is only 20.5% or we can say 21% against required coverage area of 33% another things that are the problem for indian forestry low productivity forest fires lack of commercial forest plants diseases insects and pests overgrazing is a big factor which is responsible for the serious damage to forest and obsolete method of lumbering so let's start with our topic low forest cover that i have already mentioned the forest cover in india is only 21.02% as against the world average of about 35% we have set a record of 33% but against the world average it is 35% overgrazing means excessive eating of plants by animals overgrazing by cattle sheep and goats in hilly and mountainous areas damages the forest cover next shifting cultivation that we have already described shifting cultivation means slash or burn cultivation where the piece of land is cleared for the cultivation and then the next land is again burned for the cultivation zooming or shifting cultivation by the tribal in hilly areas cause excessive damage in this type of cultivation a piece of land is cleared by setting fire and using the area for growing crops growing demand of agricultural land as the population is increasing the demands are also increasing for for completing these demands the more agricultural land is used and it is needed so what the people are doing they are clearing the forest for the agricultural use with growing population demand for the food products and agriculture raw material has increased significantly this has caused considerable shrinkage in the forest areas we are cutting down we are reducing our forest area and converting that land into the agricultural land or we are also using that land for the industrial setup urbanization urbanization means the process of making an area more developed and industrialization 
increasing urbanization and industrialization is also important cause of degradation means act of lowering something in forest area construction of hydroelectric projects in like narmada project has caused displacement and submergence of forest area for this narmada bachao andolan was also started by the tribal people by the ngos and human activists but now the dam is there human activists like activities like mining quarrying and building has resulted in the deforestation means cutting down of forest on a large scale our next topic is the national forest policy before starting up with this topic let's know something about this topic india is one of the few countries which have a forest policy since 1894 the policy was revised in 1952 and again in 1988 the main plank of the revised forest policy of 1988 is protection conservation and development of forest so let's start india is one of the few countries with where forest policy is, is in operation since 1894 amendments means changes according to the need have been made in the policy by government periodically to protect conserve and develop the forest resources under the scheme of forest conservation program the following steps have, have been taken a forestation means planting a trees on the large scale the scheme of plantation of new forest is called a forestation under one mahotsav this we have learnt in the previous videos also that in one mahotsav the government organizations have to plant trees in the month of july and august movement thousands of trees have been planted along the roads railway lines and hill slopes re a forestation re a forestation we have also done the restoration of forest where they have been indiscriminately cut is called reforestation in this scheme two saplings are planted to replace one this we have also done the national policy of 1988 before reading this let's know something about the national policy of 1988 the principal aim of national forest policy 1988 is to ensure environmental stability and maintenance of ecological balance including atmospheric equilibrium which are vital for the sustenance of all life forms human animals and plants the national policy of 1988 emphasizes mean put stress on conservation of forest as a national heritage with the vast varieties of flora and fauna flora means plant kingdom fauna means animal kingdom control of soil erosion and denudation we have already learnt we must remember that denudation is both constructive and destructive process it is construct it is destructive because it is destructive because it is leading to the breaking up of the rocks and it is constructive because because it deposits a weathered material next we have in the catchment area catchment areas we have already learned in our terms catchment area is means the areas where the water is collected after a rainfall it is a, it can be a natural drainage also of rivers lakes and reservoir check on the extension of sand dunes in the desert regions of rajasthan number 2 steps to create massive movement of people in forest management so our next topic is social forestry program before starting up with this topics let's know something about this social forestry program is a management and protection of forest and a forestation of barren and deforested land with the purpose of helping environmental social and rural development This program was a failure due to the lack of governance and management was delegated to the village panchayats. Social forestry program with the objective is to create awareness regarding the conservation of forest and to meet the needs of the rural people regarding the fuel and timber. 
agroforestry. This type of forestry is mainly practiced in many parts of India and has benefited many farmers. This type of farming has also led to the increase in the water level of river Kaveri and it is estimated that approximately 8 to 10 years after 8 to 10 years the level of river Kaveri will again increase. So let's know something about it. Agroforestry is a land use management system in which trees and shrubs are grown around and among or among the crops or pasture land. This intervention con combination of agriculture and forestry has varied benefits including increased biodiversity and eroded erosion. Because the trees there will hold the soil, they will also provide nutrients to the crops, will also help to reduce wind erosion. So this type of forestry or agriculture is very beneficial. Agroforestry, it is an integral approach of using the interactive benefits from combination, combining trees and shrubs with the crops. It combines agriculture or forestry technologies to create more diverse, productive and profitable land use system. A narrow definition of agroforestry is trees on the farms. And I have already explained that trees will help the crops. They will help the animals also. So students, this was our topic for the day. I hope you enjoyed. Please try to remember and revise all the important points of the chapter and try to solve the back exercises.